Hey my beautiful crowd, in today's video I will show you how to make a perfect carbonara. We will do it with the original guanciale, sort of pancetta that I will teach you how to make it in a further occasion. For now you can buy it if you can find it. And if you aren't subscribed yet, well, do it because the channel has the magic you need in your life. Today we are making spaghetti alla carbonara. You are also allowed to use rigatoni. But I think that spaghetti is the best choice for this very unique and traditional recipe. But first of all, guys, let me toast to y'all in this crazy quarantine. Please stay home, wash your hands, and why not also your butt? LOL. Buy and use a bidet. Cheers and happy recovery for everyone who need it. Mmm, giant tears. I love it. Let's start listing our ingredients to make the purest version of the carbonara. Prepare yourself for this big magic, though. Ready! This is a cup with a 2 inches chopped guanciale, 12 ounces. Thank you. It is like pancetta or bacon, but better, a thousand times more flavorful and yes, a lot more expensive. I made it from curing the cheek of a pork. I will show you the video in a couple of more weeks. How to make it to have the keys of the heaven itself right in your house, lol. Guys, carbonara can be made neither with bacon nor with pancetta tesa, only with guanciale because the flavor is very different and unique, so I hope you can find it in your grocery store. In a further occasion, I will remake this recipe with a variation made by myself. I will leave you the link of a video with which we will make that version. Bring now a very special grated cheese, 7 ounces of pecorino romano. Again, these ingredients are hard to find but I had to show you on this channel this unique recipe that is a masterpiece of the Italian cuisine. You could get also a mix between Parmigiano Reggiano and Pecorino Romano, but please, no Parmesan cheese. This Parmesan cheese is not Italian at all. For example, the flavor of this Pecorino Romano is one million times better than Parmesan cheese. It is not comparable. Today we are making two pounds of pasta. I have invited Thor to have dinner with me, so the recipe needs 12 medium or large eggs. We will use only the yolks. You can also put one whole egg, because many people find that balance the flavor, but I won't. I swear that the pasta at the end doesn't taste like eggs at all. We need one tablespoon of fresh grounded black pepper. The more fresh the better. Bring the pepper again and dismiss it with magic. Now bring 6 tablespoons of kosher salt or rock salt. We will need it to season the boiling water. There are two schools that say that regatoni are better than spaghetti because the eggs enter inside the pasta and the other that says it's better spaghetti because they bond together. Well, it is allowed to your taste to choose which one is better. Spaghetti for me. Thank you. Ta -ta -ra -ta 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 -ra -ta 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 -ra -ta -ta Guys, there are numbers on the package. Normally, number 5 is a good choice for spaghetti for almost every recipe. Number 7 for this one is the best. Numbers are the indication for the thickness of the pasta, so again, bigger is better. LOL. And that's everything we need to make our fantastic and super flavorful carbonara. So we learned no bacon. No parmigiano reggiano, and please, no parmesan cheese, no way, no whole eggs, no spaghetti number 5. Ok, now that I told you my tips, let's start our magic. Enjoy it! Good job! Evoke your burner and turn it on, and evoke also a fry pan with its lid. Could I put some extra virgin olive oil? No! Start just with the guanciale. The recipe doesn't call for oils. They change the flavor a little bit. We will use them for our variation. Do a funky dance with the pan and wait 10 minutes low heat. Or just evoke a time seal jutsu to let the time go faster. We also put it in another dimension with it, and now snap your fingers to vanish everything on top of your working station. Bring the eggs and summon two glass containers to divide the yolks. Do it just for one, and snap your fingers to have the job done. LOL. With the spiritual magic, clean your workstation, and we have the yolks apart from the egg whites. 
I will show you guys in other videos what you can do with it. Merengue for example, or a delicious white frittata for who love to stay fit like me. If you don't know this side of me, check my Instagram page, soft underscore lugulo. This means your egg whites and let's add our fresh grounded black pepper and bring the pecorino romano creating a fork from the air. Ready! Beat the yolks and let's add also 3 quarters of our pecorino romano to have a very thick sauce. If it's too thick, don't worry, we will add some boiling water at the end. I will put a little more pecorino romano just because I love it. Dismiss the sauce and bring the burner with the guanciale. Evoke with a brand new magic a wooden spoon and see how the fat is melting and is frying our guanciale so evenly. Guys, the smell is incredible, it's fragrant. The more it stays, the more the fat melts. It is now perfect. Dismiss it and it's time to skip a little bit from our quarantine. I've got a magic. Let's do some snorkeling though. And welcome back my beautiful crowd, let's keep up with our magic, evoke a huge pot. Turn on the burner and wait for the water to boil or just say DRACARIS! Let's see. Oh, wow, yes, it's boiling. Add your salt, dismiss the glass container, and let's add our spaghetti number 7. Then 8 minutes will be the time to strain them. Or watch the package of the brand you bought and cook the pasta just 2 minutes less. Remember to preserve just a cup of boiling water. Strain the pasta and add the guanciale, mix the pasta evenly and it's time to pour our sauce. The burner must be very low, not to overcook the pasta. Enjoy the incredible shot now! Add some water to wash the yolks into the glass container and pour it into the pan. Mix everything together one minute and turn off the burner. Oh, it smells like heaven! Et voilà! Our gorgeous spaghetti alla carbonara is done! Switch to a dimension where we are serving our pasta. I want a huge portion, because I'm starving! Now just sprinkle some pecorino romano on top and pepper if you like. And that's it! But before tasting it, well guys, remember to subscribe to my channel, click the bell button to know when I'm posting 
you can follow me on Instagram at soth underscore lucudo, on my Facebook page, on Twitter, on Reddit, and I have a Patreon too. Let's taste it, guys. Whoa, can you see the steams? Let's take a huge bite. I got a skill to roll the spaghetti. Oh, oh wow. Well, there isn't a recipe so rich as the carbonara. It is everything you want. Guys, it's an alchemy, a deep rounded flavor, rich, a fat flavor, so ancestral, so amazing. The flavor is just so incredible. The saltiness of the pecorino romano enhances the guanciale with its nutty flavor. The egg yolks give the dish a full-bodied flavor that explodes on your tongue in a very unique way. Guys, for sure, this is the most amazing pasta you should have, also if only once in your lifetime. Well, guys, it is all for today. We also made this milestone. Remember to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to know when I'm posting. This is Sotlokulo, the Supreme Archmage. See you in the next adventure. Arcolergo! Oh, too much flavor. I almost lost my powers. And I cook my way.